By the end of today's video, I'm going to attempt to build a PC case using nothing but a screwdriver, a little bit of luck, and this box full of PC case parts from Enwin. Thanks to Inwin and Taiwan Excellence for sponsoring today's video. The Taiwan Excellence Awards were founded in 1993, celebrating Taiwanese companies' endeavors in R&D, design, quality, and marketing, and is considered by many to be the Oscars of the Taiwanese industry. Inwin is one of the many honorees of the award, having won multiple times over the years due to their innovative designs. Learn more about Taiwan Excellence and Inwin by following the links down in the video description. Welcome back to Craft Computing, everyone. As always, I'm Jeff. Now, I've worked with Inwin many times over the years, and one thing I've always admired about them is their very interesting design choices when it comes to PC cases. Anyone who's seen one of their signature PC cases is not likely to forget who they are. And while this isn't a signature case, it is flashy in all the right ways. On the table next to me is the Inwin Explorer, a mini ITX case that is colorful, functional, and has plenty of room to build in. And in just a little while, we're gonna be building its older brother in the Inwin Air Force, a mid-tower ATX case. Now, I have three kids under the age of 10, so as you might guess, my living room is filled with trinkets that share a lot of color similarities here. But sometimes my kids wanna get crafty with dear old dad from time to time. So sometimes it involves loaning them time on my laser cutter or getting them involved in projects like this. The Air Force and the Explorer are both true DIY PC cases with the Air Force shipping in 19 separate pieces. And what's more, it's just kind of fun to put together. It's easier than putting together a jigsaw puzzle and you get a bit of a sense of accomplishment once it's all done. Plus, I think it looks pretty cool. So what do you say we put the little guy aside and we dive into the Air Force and see if we can put it together. All right. So one thing I've always appreciated about Inwin is their out of the box presentation and organization. There is a spot for everything and everything in its place. Uh, starting right here with just the bag of miscellaneous bits and bobs. So all of your screws and your standoffs, they're all individually labeled and packaged, it makes putting everything together and even getting started with building your case so much easier. Next up, we've got the front IO panel. So we've got a USB type C 3.1, so 10 gigabit USB type C, uh, dual front audio for headphone and microphone and two USB 3.0 type A ports. Also inside the box here is a full four fan set of Inwin's Luma 120 millimeter addressable RGB fans. That is a very nice addition to have. Looks like we've got some three and a half inch drive caddies. Awesome. And then we get into the main case components. So these are all again, individually labeled A, B, and C right here on top. And uh, I'm assuming most of the rest of the case is going to be laid out pretty much that exact same way couple more panels right there with uh, looks like triple 120 millimeter fan support. One more panel. Okay, now we're getting into the frame of the case. Assuming there will be four of these. Yep, there certainly are. There we go, red and blue. Got our main rear panel with cutouts for power supply, PCI Express cards, uh, your motherboard IO, and then a 140 millimeter fan slot. That's a nice little unit. Digging just a little bit deeper, it looks like here is the main tray to the system. Let me go and get this out of the plastic here. So there's your motherboard tray and all of your cable routing tie-offs. Very nice. And then underneath that, we've got one glass panel and a second glass panel. I think I'm gonna leave those in there until we are done building the case, just to be safe. All right, we've got everything out of the box. And like I said, I love Inwin and the way that they label everything, including all of their screws inside of their manuals in individually labeled bags. It's fantastic and it makes everything so easy, especially when you're literally building your own PC case. So let's go ahead and get started here. It looks like we're gonna put together the frame of the system first. All right, step one in my first critical juncture. Uh, do I want red on one side and blue on the other? Or do I want to go alternating red on the back and blue on the front? Hmm. We're gonna go 
like that. Yeah. And two. Nice. All right, next up, it's time for the rear I.O. and the motherboard tray. Like that, and that's gonna go like that. All right. There we go. Hey, that almost looks like a case. All right, next up, we're gonna take one of our frames. three corner pieces. This should be on the top. So this is a little bit confusing right now. This is going to end up being the rear I.O. panel. This is the bottom, the front, and the top of the case. At least I think. <laughs> we'll find out in a minute. So to put this section together, there's just 10 screws, pretty much two at every joint between the panels. All right, and now we get to join the rear I.O. and the motherboard tray with the rest of the system. All right, next up, we get to flip this over, screw the motherboard tray in, and hopefully screw the rest of the case together. There we go. Hopefully there's extras of that screw. Belongs to the office now. Now, why would you want to go through the hassle of building a PC case yourself when you could probably just buy another PC case and put your system together? Well, if you're into modding or customization, this in-win Air Force case is going to be a huge win for you, especially when it comes to either PC mods or painting the case. There might be 22 screws holding this frame to the underlying chassis of this, but there's no rivets, there's no solid welds, there's no spot welds, there's no, there's no point of this case that does not come apart and give you just its bare open components. Which means, if you wanted to take this apart and paint it component by component, that's something you could absolutely do. And as someone who has painted a fair number of PC cases over the years, I can't tell you what a benefit no rivets and uh, no spot welds is when you're looking to modify a PC case. Plus, again, I'm having fun. Now, we can flip this guy over and put on the top frame. All right, we've got our couple of feet to install here. Just a couple of nubs to line up in the bottom of the case. There we go. 
On the bottom of the case, we've got room for our three and a half inch drive trays, which are 100% toolless. So let's just kind of slide in there. There we go. And last but not least, we've got our front I.O. panel and the cable should slip right in there and the panel should click right into place, just like that. And there you have the basis for the Inwin Air Force. Uh, fairly simple case, really a throwback to old school case design with completely wide open internals and you can add or remove pretty much anything that you want. You don't have to have these three and a half inch drive tray panels here if you don't need them. You could run this as a straight up open chassis with no glass side panels, or you can put the glass side panels on. There's filters on the front or the top, or you can swap those out for tempered glass panels. And all of that is included in the box. So now that the case is done, it takes pretty much no effort at all to go from this to something like, yeah, that's all it takes to build a PC anymore. Just snap. So the Inwin Explorer and the Air Force may not be your typical looking PC case. But I think that's okay, as as long as it holds a PC and functions properly, there's room for it in the market. I like the wide open design on this, the skeleton aesthetic, while also kind of reminiscing of the Hot Wheels and Barbie PCs from the late 90s. In fact, if you never got your hands on one of those, now might be your time to build your own. Both cases come with a couple different color options, but like I mentioned before, because everything in the system is modular, there's nothing stopping you from taking it down to its bare essentials and painting it whatever color you'd like. If you're interested in either the Inwin Explorer or the Inwin Air Force, I will have links down in the video description for you to go check those out. And again, a huge thanks to Inwin for sponsoring today's video. If you like this one, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to Craft Computing if you haven't done so already. And if you like the content you see on this channel and want to help support me in what I do, consider joining my Patreon. Link is also down in the video description. That's going to do it for me in this one. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Now, unfortunately, I forgot to do the beer review while I was building the system. So I guess you're going to get literally the three hours along swig left at the bottom of the class version of it. Bifrost Winter Ale. Bifrost is our lively winter seasonal, bold with citrus and earthy hops and balanced smooth malt character. Pour carefully, Bifrost is unfiltered and may contain sediment. While I've never found Bifrost to be overly citrusy, it does have a little bit of a lingering light sweetness, but it's, it's malt is what really draws me in. It's a, it's very spice forward, very nutmeg and cinnamon and fig kind of inspired. And to me, that's always meant holiday season. Now you sprinkle a little bit of a decent hop flavor and a little orange on top of that. Be a good Christmas indeed. Yeah, but don't let it sit out for three hours. <laughs>